Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here present. I can see a few people here already with us. My name is Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio de Janeiro. And today I have a special, unique tour and experience to share with you. It's the first time uh, that we make a coverage of a train ride to Santa Teresa Art District. And well, uh, I've tested it once. It appeared and it happened, but due to its height and speed, maybe the tram can offer a few unstable conditions on Wi-Fi. So let's see what's going to happen today. We are starting our ride now and we are here with people from Sao Paulo. Aí. Hello. Hello. Hi, and look around the views of Rio de Janeiro. The Cathedral of São Sebastião do Rio de Janeiro. And we are in the tram car, in a tram ride all the way to Santa Teresa Art District. Inside of the train, and there is another tram there on the other side. And many visitors coming from all over Brazil, all over the world, and also from Rio de Janeiro. People who are residents going to Santa Teresa. Look around, and I can see today many people are present. Hey, Melody from London, thanks for being here. Bev, Fur, Mary Lou from Canada, and Fur. Let's see, let's see if the Wi-Fi signal will work. Mary Lohan from London, Mary Kay. Thank you so much for being all present. SK, Mary Lohan from Texas, Skeeter, Paula from London, Grace, and Catherine. We are going to uh, an art tour ride on the art district of Santa Teresa. But before getting to Santa Teresa, we'll see a little bit of the view of the tram ride leaving the station at Avenida Chile. So we make this brief train ride and you have a beautiful view of the historic city center where I live in Rio de Janeiro. This is Lapa, the Bohemian neighborhood of Rio where bars, restaurants and nightclubs are located. And I live right there in that two blocks away from there. Beautiful view to the city center where there are many artists, musicians and night clubs. Now we are arriving in Santa Teresa Art District with our tram. And by our side, we will see visitors coming from Sao Paulo. Look at them. What's your name? Everton. Everton from Sao Paulo. Hello, everybody. Hello. Leticia. Leticia. Carol. Vocês estão gostando do Rio de Janeiro? Bastante. So I ask them, are you, en are you enjoying Rio de Janeiro? Yes, too much. Yay. É a primeira vez de vocês no Rio? My second time. Second time in Rio, first time in Rio, and they are loving it. Yay, yay. Thank you. Let's see more of Santa Teresa. Ciao. <laughs> Here we are entering Santa Teresa neighborhood at speed of the cable car. Thanks, Mary. Luis, thanks for joining. All right, fair. Thanks for letting me know of the audio quality. Anna, Anne, Helen, Catherine, thank you all for joining Santa Teresa Artist in a tram ride tour. BM, welcome to Santa Teresa and Sam from Bay. Buff Bristol. You joined up there when we started our tram ride in Santa Teresa Art District. And we will go all the way to Largo dos Guimarães today. We will see street art. And if we are lucky, we will see street artists or artists in their studios as well. Let's see what will expect us. This is Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio de Janeiro, showing to you a little bit of my neighborhood. 
please follow me at Rio Encantos on social media, Instagram and YouTube. Look, my logo and name. Oops, how can I focus this? Now people are enjoying their ride. Thank you, Ronnie, for joining. People were looking for a spot here in the tram, but it's full. So for you to come and pick up the tram to Santa Teresa when you come to Rio de Janeiro, the trams, they ride until 3 p.m. And you can have, you can expect a 30 minutes wait on the line to pick up the ride, a tram, or even 40 minutes wait. So arrive uh, 30 minutes before your expected time to board. And here are the kids. They are living school time now and waiting for uh, an opportunity to get the tram or something like that. And here, please, you can follow me and find me at Rio Encantos. Here's my WhatsApp present also on different social media. My name is Kelly Tavares. Aqui, ó, para vocês também. There are many kids who live in school now. They are residents in Santa Teresa and they are expecting many of the, the, the passengers and visitors of Santa Teresa to, uh, to leave the, the tram so they could join and jump in because it's a fun ride. Hello everyone, here you are with me in Santa Teresa Art District. Thank you so much for being present. It's a, such a big joy to be here sharing my place and city with you. And I hope you appreciate. Today it's a live stream session uh, on Viewpoint. Thank you so much for being here with us. We we're, also, we're also on Hago and other social media. So in case you want to have a specific tour, virtual tour in another uh, destination, please let me know. Also, hey Monique, hi Dana, hey Janet, Woohoo! thank you Mary Kay for being present. We are on the tram ride in Santa Teresa and Dana is a tour guide also in Rio. Dana, will you have tours today? Look at this beautiful view down there. The sun is downing the temperature in Rio de Janeiro. It's perfect. It's around 28 centigrade, 80 Fahrenheit. And here's an art studio. We are passing in a higher speed because we are on a tram ride. And you can see a little bit of the houses. And soon we will uh, not board. We will uh, jump out of the cable car to show you a little bit around. In this, we are arriving in Largo dos Guimarães. This is a place where we will visit this art studio of Domingos, some shops, places to buy pastries, and see some street art. Let's jump! Woohoo! Many things to show you, the restaurants, and so. Vocês vão parar aqui, né? Na, aqui no centro, que é o centro de Santa Teresa. Ah, tá ok. Eu vou, eu vou parar nesse ponto aqui. Eu não sei se eles abrem do outro lado. Ah, sim, aqui é do outro lado, desse lado de cá. Perfeito. É. Tchau, tchau, pessoal. Tchau, tchau. Bye, bye. <laughs> Largo dos Guimarães, eu. Valeu, senhor. Here we are, em Largo dos Guimarães. Dana loves Santa Teresa. That's great. We arrived in the center of Santa Teresa. So this part of Santa Teresa, which is located here, 
You see Santa Teresa Art District. Santa Teresa is very big. It goes almost all the way up to Pineadas, where it's close to Corcovado. And we will run a, a tour to Corcovado and Cosme Velho next week. I will be uh, uh, scheduling that tomorrow, so please follow me on my profile and book your tour to Cosme Velho and Corcovado. Here we are in Largo dos Guimarães, the center of Santa Teresa. And I live exactly on this square, down, going down steps here. We are on, the, on a hill, on a mountain. As you saw, we came on a tram ride and it was really high for you who joined before. Hey, Sherry, thanks for joining the tour now. For those who joined a little bit earlier, you enjoyed the tram ride. And this is a lower part down here where I live in Bairro de Fatima. Now we are at the top of the hill where is the art district. And here you have an idea of Santa Teresa on the map where the Lapa Aqueducts and Celaron Steps are located. The statue of Christ Redeemer in the Tijuca Forest. And uh, Santa Teresa has a connection with Laranjeiras, with Paineiras, and with the Tijuca Forest, where the Corcovado Mountain is located, and where we also run tours. Now look at the car. He's announcing the celebrations of the Juninas party celebrations, the parties of June month. And then uh, Sayuri Koshima, she will be covering some festas juninas in Salvador. Please, uh, if you want to see other live streams also from uh, Salvador, you can also join Sayuri Koshima in uh, Hey Go, follow her and see some of the Juninas parties. Now I will share with you the Cine Santa. This is a nice movie theater, tiny, neat, beautiful one in Santa Teresa in this historic ha house and building. And it's one of the beloved cultural centers of this area. They also have an art studio inside, an art gallery, actually. And around in the vicinity, you'll see these beautiful buildings, many of them from the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. Hi, Francesca. Thanks for joining the tour. Thank you so much, BM, also for following. And you see in bars and restaurants such as the Portela, people are playing live music now. And I can share that with you if you want. Or Armazém São Joaquim, where they also have a nice menu. And here up here, they will have shops, souvenir shops. Another view from the top. They will have a tent set up for celebrations. And the tram and buses ride you all the way up here to Santa Teresa, such as this one. Hi, Carla and Vanessa. Thank you so much for joining the Santa Teresa Art District Tour. Please feel free to ask your questions. I've been doing research and living here. Thank you, Carla. For uh, throughout my whole life, uh, from the port zone to the city center in, in Santa Teresa is one of my, my neighborhoods. And it leads, it leads you to different parts of Santa, where you can live different experiences, but all of them surrounded by beautiful art, art galleries, and art movements as well. So please interact, ask your questions. I can answer questions about the history of Santa Teresa, about artists in Santa Teresa's events, and other, many other things. So it's going to be a pleasure to be with you. I don't know, but I think... There is a lady here who is a friend of mine. Ah, no, she's a, a musician. So she's there. But I'm going to show you the Armazém São Joaquim. This is an old building. And as in many historic towns and old buildings around the world, you can have a lack of signal because of the thickness of the wall. So let's see. Look around, beautiful art they have. Olá, boa tarde, tudo bom? Oi, oi. Oi, boa tarde. 
Oi, eu sou guia de turismo, estou fazendo uma promoção, tá? Mostrando, assim, um pouco do centro cultural, das artes e tal, tá? Obrigada, viu? Já, já trouxe turista aqui também. Yeah. So here we are entering a little bit of the internal garden of this beautiful restaurant they have here on the back. How is the signal there? Please, I count on you to keep me updated on the quality of the signal because it's very important to know if where I'm entering the coverage is, is working. I've tested before, but depending on the day, it can offer a technical problems. Ah, not good, so I will leave them. This is a beautiful palm tree. Good here. Ok, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the Brazilian barbecue. Olá, boa tarde, tudo bom? É, eu sou guia de turismo, eu estou mostrando um pouquinho do, da, dos acontecimentos. Eu posso mostrar um pouco do churrasco brasileiro? Ah, a gente só tem com um espetinho hoje, né? Mas tudo bem. Posso te apresentar? Sim, tá. Michel. Hello, here I am with Michel. Thank you so much for being present. And Michel is the guy who makes the barbecues here at the restaurant. Nice, Dana, thank you. Uh, and Michel, he is preparing the heat here and the barbecue uh, place in a Brazilian style to prepare the meat. Ah, I tem um colega lá atrás in the kitchen também. Tudo bom? Uh, he's the chef here, the cook. And then I'm going to show you that he's preparing the things for later dinner time as well. Vou mostrar um pouquinho ali. For now, he's just putting the, 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 the starters and the charcoals and we're preparing one meat for him. And soon, as the orders start, they, he'll start to put a lot of meat there in the grill. Obrigada, viu, Michel? Até mais. Eu sou Kelly, guia de turismo aqui. Tchau, valeu. Look how neat and nice is this place. So here, like also in many historic places, you have these secret gardens and spots. Sometimes in Santa Teresa or Pelourinho in Bahia and other historic places, from outside, if you are not with a tour guide, you don't have a total idea of what we can find in internal spaces. But when you take the chance to enter and get to know the jewels around it, Or when you hire a local guide to tour around, then they we take you to these internal spots to find the jewels of the places where we live. For example, beautiful art, nice hidden gardens with great food and people. This is an art representing the neighborhood of Santa Teresa with famous musicians from our history. And here we just started our tour today going all the way up with the cable car through Santa Teresa, through Lapa Aqueduct. That's what we did at the beginning of the tour. Now we are enjoying the neighborhood and show you some art is spread around some of the places inside of restaurants. Now look at beautiful colored flags decorating this bar, this restaurant. It is an honor to the flags and the history of the religious flags set up to St. John, St. Anthony, and St. Peter when we celebrate in June and July the Festas Juninas, uh, the June parties. Now, people here... No worries, Leanne. Come back to another one. Please follow me either on social media at Rio Encantos and here so you can keep uh, following a tour at a week. Oh, nice, good. Laura, Sherio, thanks for coming. Here I'm now sharing San, uh, Santa Teresa Art District tour, and there is a, a, an artist here showcasing the flags of our a uh, previous, previous president, Lula, who now is in campaign again for the Workers' Party. And many people in Santa Teresa are uh, found of his politics because it was one of the best in our history, despite of not being perfect. But Lula was a beloved president. And we hope that this year we don't have Bolsonaro anymore and we can have Lula to represent and also to... Uh, invest again on education, culture, and social welfare. So here is representing St. Anthony. 
and then uh, which is celebrated in the June parties. And as you see, the artists here, they use, they're very politi politically engaged and they use also their political uh, dr drive to build up their works. Yes, look, this artist here is showcasing some works on leather, some of the arts and crafts uh, made on leather and selling on the street. Santa Teresa, at first, it was, for being on the top of the hill, it had a lot of its rainforest preserved in the 1700s. And in the 1800s, it's down there in Rio de Janeiro, when the city was a very hazardous city, with many uh, pandemics, <coughs> epidemics, and as a very hazardous city, uh, Santa Teresa was a higher place offering a better weather. So it has a microclimate for being close to the forest. So it, it's the temperature is a little bit lower than down there, like one centigrade lower. So this made a place which was safer also for having direct access to the sources of springs, water sources which in the 18th, beginning of the 19th century, uh, the city was suffering with many, many droughts because all of these hills, many of them, and a big part of them were changed into plantation farms, which compromised the, the springs and water sources. Now then, with a reforestation project of the Floresta da Tijuca, many of these springs were reestablished. And uh, Santa Teresa, which was a refuge for the indigenous population in the 1700s, 1600s, for running away from the colonizers who were establishing them down there, they were giving place also for the first Quilombos, or places also where the black community, enslaved black Africans, were running away to. But in the end of the, the middle and end of the 1800s, the colonizers, uh, and Portuguese and Spanish and Swiss uh, and Germans, they started to also come up the way up here to build up their houses. And they started to build up their houses close to the water sources in Santa Teresa. Now look at this beautiful art made out of beautiful beads, colorful, and this beautiful work of, how do you call this? this art. Here we call tesselaging. What about you? How do you call this art? The ones you make crochet? It's made with a tea, with a machine. Weaving, yes. Weaving. They are selling very beautiful uh, jewelry as well. And here I'm going to show you. Ah, que lindo! Seu trabalho. Parabéns. He's, a, he's the artist. Qual seu nome? Victor. Victor. Você é de onde, Victor? Colômbia. Victor is the is from Colombia. Eu sou a guia de turismo aqui. Tá? É, um, so I, I get closer to Victor. So uh, vou apresentar você e eu. So here we are. Kelly Tavares, tour guide, and Victor from Colombia. Muito obrigada, Victor, ah, obrigado, pelo trabalho lindo. Obrigado. Okay? So, o so, pessoal gostou muito. De ah, he said these are works directly from Colombia also that he brought. And uh, yeah, he brings these works from Colombia. And Santa Teresa is very rich for its diverse artistic community. So, so he, he is uh, an artist from the jewelry. He's working with Brazilian gemstones, semi-precious stones, with um, silver, which he makes himself. Amazing. É muito lindo. Maravilhoso. Muito obrigada, viu? So, the neighborhood of Santa Teresa attracts artists from all over the world and all over Latin America and all over Brazil.
So that's why it's so rich. People come and uh, engage and mingle easily. People here are open with and receiving people from places with open arms. That's what we love about Santa Teresa. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of the Portela Bar. Portela Bar. So the life in Santa Teresa, it all starts usually after lunchtime and also 4 p.m. when people come from their work. Hello. Tudo bom? Tudo. Oi, oi. Eu sou guia de turismo. Eu estou mostrando um pouquinho de Santa Teresa. Aí eu mostro um pouquinho do restaurante para promover também. Tá? Obrigada, viu? So here in the Portela Bar, they also uh, showcase a lot of the cultures of the northeast of, of Brazil. Oh, thank you, her. Thank you so much. And they show, uh, they have their food from inspiration of the northeast, and they have delicious feijoada, baião de dois, and other dishes typical from the northeast of Brazil. So they they are showing a map of South America, and what reminds us that there are many guides from South America giving live stream tours. It's a great opportunity. Some of the basketry made in the Northeast showcasing the work of artisans inside. And there is an artist playing forró song, which is also a song from the Northeast very played in this time's June celebrations. Look at the decorations for our June celebrations. Let's see some of the art outside. Bye, ciao. Obrigada, viu, pessoal? Tchau, tchau. Oi. Tchau. Agora sim. Obrigada. <laughs> This is a beautiful shot, isn't it? Like people are enjoying and entering the bar. For those of you who wants to take a print, enjoy. <laughs> Ah, legal, pessoal. Tchau. So here, Santa Teresa is represented by its art, and here they commission an art to represent the cactuses, which are typical uh, vegetation from the northeast of Brazil, which is connected 
the theme of Northeast and the dry and des desertic areas of the Caatinga and the beautiful flowers of the cactuses. So they commissioned this art here to have in front of their restaurant, which serves food from the Northeast, Portela Restaurant. He is representing some of the people, the cowboys and the cangaceiros of the Northeast, representing Lampion, which were part of many tales and also stories of the cangaço. Now, following that street of Santa Teresa, you find different streets, uh, things and arts and art studios, bars and cafes. Here, I'm going to show you the cable car, the cable car, no, the tram that comes all the way to Lago dos Guimarães. Ah, to go vertical? No, with my uh, gimbal, it's a little bit different than uh, the, the, Omo, the Omo gimbal. I think it's the other the other brand of gimbal that allows to make the vertical. The Smooth 4 that I use, it doesn't allow me to do that. I need to take off the, the phone from the gimbal in order to do it. Thank you, Leanne, for understanding. That is representing Corcovado and the Christ Redeemer. Next week, we will make a virtual tour there. And he has written the name of the neighborhood, Santa Teresa, representing the cable car. Here is a work of Fernando, a local artist who is also a teacher, an art teacher. And he is known here in Santa Teresa for uh, putting up these uh, hearts throughout the neighborhood with tiles. And here, if you want to see the work, Voda o Papo, Empathy, Empathy, Empatia. Spreading the love throughout Santa Teresa neighborhood. So through the art of Santa Teresa, it speaks a lot about our culture. You have many opportunities to answer questions related to your curiosities and which will connect us somehow and also uh, help you to understand about us. Ah, sure, Anne Mary, Anna Marie, or oh, Anna Marie. I will cross the street. First, I will show you this side of the Portela restaurant. Now, one thing about Santa Teresa, uh, if you look on the floor, there are many uh, tracks for the trams. And it used to be, in the past, much more popular, the trams here. But due to lack of investments on them, they were reduced and the, an increase of the cars uh, increased the, the, the traffic in Santa Teresa. So that's why many of the arts that you see in the neighborhood will be asking for having the more tram lines back here. Hey, Stacy, thanks. Thanks for joining. I already ran a tour in Santa Teresa in that side of the neighborhood. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of the other side, which is, I'm gonna show you a little bit there and on that other street. Let's go. Watch out to the streets, to the busy streets of the Santa Teresa Center, where one, two, three, four, five streets will cross on this crossroad here. So there's a beautiful car coming. Many visitors very excited to be there, entering, jumping inside of the car. And you can take your print of Santa Teresa. Art and cable car. 
Please take your prints and later when you can, please share that in our social media, also on the Facebook groups. And remember to mark and tag Rio Encantos, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S. Let's go up. Olá, senhor. Boa tarde. Tudo bom? Obrigada. So from here you see other beautiful arts and shops. So Santa Teresa is also a place where you have boutiques and also brechós where people come to buy this uh, to buy a different uh, thrift stores, thrift shops and also uh, arts and crafts. Here's a work of Esos, Dolores Esos. It's a beautiful work of art of Dolores Esos. Thank you Vera so much for joining and enjoying the colors of Santa Teresa Art District. Today I'm showing a different part of Santa Teresa that I haven't shown in other tours before. And uh, I'm very glad to be here present with you all together. Who is there up there with me on this ride? Please raise your hands. Who is there? Uh, where are you watching this tour from which place, which part of the world? So this is a part of Santa Teresa where USA, thank you, Carla, where in USA? So this is a part of Santa Teresa that shows South Carolina here, there. So here you have a nice view of the historic houses of Santa Teresa. These buildings uh, bringing us from remodelings of the end of the 1800s. Ronnie from Rochester, New York, and the beginning of the 20th century. So as you see, the neighborhood was being inhabited by uh, and occupied and its urban plan was remodeling its part of town based on the water tubulation that was being opened up and set up in this part of the city. They were bringing the waters from the springs of the Tijuca Forest, the Tijuca National Park, all the way down to the historic center where I live and to this part. And with the open up of roads to set up the tubulations, People were also setting up the first trams pulled initially in the 1860s by horses. Can you imagine that? So they were bringing all the construction materials all the way uphill with the horses pulled by the tram. And later they uh, brought trams from uh, England and they were steam cars, steam trams. And after having the stream, now they are electric. That's a group of tourists with a tour guide, with local tour guide, giving them instructions and a little bit of background information. And here is a nice shop for souvenirs. Olá, tudo bom? Boa tarde. Eu sou guia de turismo, eu tô promovendo o bairro e o roteiro, tá? Posso entrar? Obrigada. Qual o seu nome? Jonathan. So there is Jonathan. Tem um pessoal aqui de algumas partes do mundo. Você pode fazer assim, se você quiser. Alô, Jonathan is there. And he is here working at the shop, showing some, showcasing some of the art of local artists and some of the landscapes of Rio. So many people think that in Rio is mostly like beach tour, but we, uh, play, people like Dan, uh, Tati Araújo, Sa we run virtual tours and we show that we do have beach tours which are amazing we have favela tours and we have 
cultural tours showcasing not only the highlights of the city, such as Copacabana Beach, but all, and Corcovado Mountain with the Christ Redeemer, all the favelas, and also the cultural part of town, its history, its artists, its colors, and much more. So please remember when you come to Rio to look for a tour guide and to support local guides, support local artists, come enter these shops. People are really friendly, we welcome you and we'll be eager to share our culture through selling the art of our artists. Tchau, tchau, Jonathan. Obrigada, viu? Valeu, até a próxima. So you find all sorts of things and you be well receptioned in many places where you come. Here there is a, a saying saying, visit Santa Teresa. Frivaldski, Mohammed, Declan, more people joining. Where are you talking from, Mohammed, Declan and Frivaldski? Thank you so much. We are showing a view of Santa Teresa at Largo dos Guimarães on its art district. Plenty of colors of local artists such as Twin, Mael, Ismael, and there up there it's a cultural center. Her from Mexico, Mohammed from Egypt, and Declan from Ireland. Thank you so much for joining. Look at this place up there. They, uh, they set up stages. This is a place where they host different cultural events. And it's opened up for people in general to come. Of course, the gate now is not completely open because the event is not going on now. But this is kind of a secret jam. When we come, you have the steps and you enter. Through here, you have access to the shops that I, I told you. And the Largo das Letras, you have a bookshop, cafe, stages with events that they run throughout the year. And it's all decorated with the colored flags for the June parties and celebrations. Hey, John, joining from Virginia Beach, Vancouver. Vancouver? No. Where in USA is Virginia Beach? While I wait for your answer, I will show you this nice place decorated for the quadrillas or the square dances, the forró music bands and groups. In this beautiful house in Santa Teresa. So like this, many others are set up to have parties in Santa Teresa. And I will show you a view. From the top of the top, Santa Teresa is on a hill. And as you can see there, there is a castle, which brings up the influences of many of the German, Swiss, Switzerland, uh, people from Switzerland who set up their houses here and they wanted to build up houses to remember their back home in Europe. So there are a few castles in Santa Teresa, which is very unique and unexpected for a city, an urban place like Rio. Hey, John, where are you from? In Virginia, in Virginia Beach. What is the state standing for VA? Please teach me. And then uh, we will go down to go to see these shops around here in this part of Santa Teresa, okay? And uh, some of the treats that they sell here as well. VA from Virginia. Ah, okay. Virginia Beach in Virginia. Thank you. There is Largos dos Guimarães. I showed you one of the secret spots where events take place here. Now let's go down again to see down there, as I promised. Do you have any questions so far?
Please remember to follow me, Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio, at Rio Encantos. I am an art specialist running tours, cultural tours and natural tours in Rio de Janeiro, live stream sessions, and also virtual, but also live with groups such as the group you saw there of different tourists. So I run cultural tours here in the places where I was born, in the port area, and in the old historic town, but also in the Tijuca National Park, leading hikes to waterfalls and peaks. Also, remember, if you want to become, have a tour commissioned to your private group, I sell private tours uh, sessions to answer your specific questions for groups, educational groups, uh, companies in different other platforms, such as Go With Your Guide or Discover Live and others. So just ask me, just follow me at Rio Encantos, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S. Make your request and I can tailor an experience for your group and you can book a whole session of private tour with me. I will be uh, uh, giving tours, virtual tours on Hego and on Villepaul, a few of them free, so you can have an idea of my style. And I can have this communication with you. Olá, pessoal, obrigada, tudo bom? Aí, são. Eduardo, você é para onde? Então, você é live? This é uma live. Com um o pessoal, tem gente aí da Califórnia, da, Fala, não, não, da Virgínia. Conhece samba? Conhece samba? Do you know samba? He's samba, asking. Samba? Cadê? Quem a gente pode Who é, he's, he's asking. Ah, Ronnie knows samba. Bora tocar um samba aqui agora? Da nossa tcha, composição. Tcha, 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 tcha. Dona de <risos> mim, linda assim, da cor da noite preta. Abrir e fudence. Ouro em botão. Não diga não, nem posso suportar, nem os minerais das Minas Gerais ofuscam sua beleza. Uhul, que lindo. desses carnavais, a gente sempre se distrai. Mas com a gente não foi assim, eu andei. Andei em Santa Teresa, é, mas sem você foi, foi maior tristeza. Eu andei, andei em Santa Teresa, mas sem você foi maior tristeza. Bora, vai. Andei pelos blocos, não foi bom. Fui na escadaria, sei lá, não. Gastei muita sola do sapato. E não achei, hein? Mas, Mas a, a sorte p... morava logo ali. Quando ouvi batuqueiros, eu te vi. Te encontrei lá no beco do rato. Uau, eu que andei. lindo. Onde eu consigo vocês? Nossa composição. E onde eu consigo vocês? A gente não tem essas redes sociais, é, não. A gente é... Caraca, essa, essa música é muito linda. Muito obrigada. Wow. Estou procurando alguém para gravar. Nossa, que lindo. This is amazing. They are amazing. So, uh, soon I will be back here to give them my contact because I want to follow them. Então, daqui a é, pouco eu sou guia de turismo aqui. Geral. Daqui a pouco eu vou mandar meu contato para vocês, para eu seguir vocês, vocês me seguirem. Quando vocês Manda mandarem essa música aí, boa. tá? Valeu, valeu. Eu vou só terminar daqui a pouquinho e chega aí. Vini Santa Fé, Vini Santa Fé. Vini Santa Fé, no Instagram. Vini Santa Fé. Tá, valeu, viu? All right, you see, that's why I love my people here. These people are amazing. You come, get along. I have, I didn't know them, and just they say, hey, are you on a live? I want to show a little bit of our author's composition to your people. And I said, you, yeah, sure, do it. <laughs> Very charming. Is the music back? Because uh, the mic went off. Laura said, so Laura, uh, is the music back there? Nice. We uh, arrived at the end of our tour. And you see, it, uh, wherever I pass by, I pass by art and art places and shops, as you see here on the back. 
Hey Sue, thanks for joining. Oi, oi. Tudo bom? No, I meant they took the mic and you won't get it back. They, ah, okay, Lord. I understood. Yeah, I just let them go, you know, and have their fun. Because I understand that when we all share these good vibes, together you end up having fun together with me and that's what the live stream sessions are also meant to be right all right then uh, i will finish this tour now uh, switching the camera and showing you an art of mente who is an artist who is a resident artist here of the neighborhood uh, he has his art studio here also and now we will finish and, and show you the studio of another artist who is Domingos. He paints here the bars and he paints his art here. I'm going to show you his there inside the painting. <laughs> Domingos Cardoso doing his art. Huh? Obrigada. Look, Domingos. Cardoso. He has his art studio right here in a shop. Yes, Fer, it's a beautiful song and, ly and lyrics. Oi, Domingos, tudo bom? Tudo bem, bem-vinda. Que bom, obrigada. Você tá aí com a mão na massa, mão na tinta, mão nos pincéis, eu tô aqui fazendo um tour virtual. Look what he's making with the, with the favela representation, which is Santa Teresa is surrounded by many favela communities and Domingos Cardoso he has his studio here representing the favela and he lives here for many years uh, Domingos, how many years do you live here in Santa Teresa? Here in Santa Teresa, 25 years And where is He is from Maranhão in the north yeah. region of Brazil yeah. and he lives in, for, in Santa Teresa for 25 years Hey Mary, Tinesha, thanks for joining. We are finishing our tour now. Estamos terminando agora no ateliê de Domingos Cardoso. Ah, so this is going to get uh, similar to that one in a bigger size. So now uh, I'm going to finish my tour. Thank you so much for being present here with you, with me. Uh, thank you all from different parts of the world. We saw artists today, their work, they are on the making of music, of arts, of crafts, and it's a passion in Santa Teresa. You saw a little bit of that, but Santa Teresa has much more to offer. So please join me on a tour and also support our work uh, getting to know, following, uh, paying for our tours, and also spreading the word about us, okay? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth and Ronnie and Francesca for being present, being together, and see you on the next opportunity. Bye-bye.